I'm Tengsen Vest. We're talk about investing, finance, and professional development for today's items only. The investment going to talk today will be Tim Tiki Teach. So it's my second posting as of today. Respect to recording time of 3:03 p.m. on Eastern Time. Ethereum contracting three thousand nine hundred sixty-five dollars, down about four percent so far. With respect to the overall crypto market, it seems like it's uh, relatively negative. Besides Shiba Inu. Which is currently um, in Mars. Uh, I, th- I think we're way past it. I think we're in Saturn <laughs> or somewhere along the line right now. Currently up about 53.48%. 53.7% is up, up in a way as I'm speaking. So <laughs> we're up about over 50% so far, which is enormous and it's just uh, absolutely crazy. And with respect to the current level for Ethereum right now, it's currently down as we know that the death cross is currently being formed at the moment as we speak you can see that the yellow line which is the macd line slowly crossing the signal line which is uh you know something that we've been watching so far it seems like with respect to the upward wedge that we've been discussing it is forming um you know and confirming the negative pattern that we're seeing right now so as we cross down we're going to see more sell off uh back down to the 3843 and if we break that we're going to go to you know basically the next level 3472 and 3150 respectively right so we have to look into the momentum as we dive into technical fronts so respect to the news let's just dive right into it shall we um, it seems like with respect to the first article on Bazinga, talk about Bitcoin has made a lot of millionaires. Um, and this is great. A lot of investors have been invested into Bitcoin, you know, in the last four or five years. And with your patient, right, your long term vision has subsequently paid off. Um, and I know some of my friends, uh, including myself, uh, which I bought, if you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum, you know, relatively early on in my life, uh, about three years four years ago when I was still, um, you know, working, slaving away on Wall Street. Uh, and I was putting my, you know, small paycheck here and there and uh, it's slowly paying off and def- definitely allow a lot of my friends here on YouTube as well to have that uh, more comfortable uh, lifestyle, if you may, right? And also with respect to the article, it also talks about the transformation uh, that Ethereum has given us as well in our lives. So, and that's something that I have been buying Ethereum for quite some time now when it was at the hundreds. Uh, and now, now it's at the, obviously, as we speak, 3960 bucks, up, up, down about 4% so far. So just want to say congratulations to all the ones that, you know, have been long-term investors, right? Long-term value creations has always been the way for people to, you know, appreciate in life in general, right? So next one on the on the news, uh, Bazinga three hours ago talked about Ethereum whales buy two, two, 277 billion tokens of Shiba Inu near Dogecoin market cap. So it seems like there are some you know shift in terms of monetary circulations from Ethereum holding um, you know to obviously Shiba Inu, which is you know translate into the enormous surge of fifty five percent as we speak right now. And just take a look at it real quick. We are um, basically in Saturn, Neptune, or one of those like far, far away, you know, from Earth type of planets. Uh, we tested the 8106 earlier today. We are at the 90 out of 70. So, wow, this is an um, enormous gain. Uh, congratulations to ones that have been buying it, um, you know, Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. You know, it used to be some sort of a joke in the past, right? Um, and it seems like this is something that, um, you know, has created wealth for a lot of people. Um, and uh, congratulations to you. Uh, but learn to sustain the, the level of uh, euphoria and that greed. Maybe learn to take some profit, you know, soon. Um, you know, but if you want to hold it for a long term, I think there might be some more room to run up to. Uh, we have not formed any curvature down yet. It's still, you know, forming an apex, and I think the apex has not even met yet. And if we gonna f- confirm on our side, technically, we could reach up until like ninety four out of seventy, which is technically the peak peak, right? And that should do it as a as an apex for Shiba Inu. So, um, interesting, definitely crazy. Uh, I don't even know what to say about this. Now, the next news is on Decrypt about three hours ago. We'll talk about Ethereum meme token Shiba Inu on pace to flip Dogecoin as Bitcoin slumps. Um, well, 
when other coins are you know slumping uh you know or selling off which you see very prominently across a lot of the altcoin um you know the monetary circulation has to go somewhere right and it's either we go to a a very laser focused altcoin which as we speak right now is shiba inu or in the you know equity index right we see that with respect to nasdaq's currently up about 0.56 percent and this is mainly dr being dragged up by various different high cap, high growth, and tech stocks, if you may, which, you know, as you know, the sector rotation is still going on. So as institutional buying activities goes on, more public investors going to FOMO in, which helps to drive more uh, appreciation uh, for the price uh, for these respective stocks, right? And then next one, uh, this is... Um, on uh, Bazinga five hours ago, let's go back to Ethereum now. We don't need to look at Shiba Inu yet. Ethereum uh, balance on exchange reaches two years low as investors hold for the long term as it breaks 4,000. So this is re referring to basically the technical analysis. Um, and that's the last news, by the way. So let's just dive into the technicals right now. Again, we are forming a death cross right now, forming a curvature downward. The whale has been relatively elongated and inflated at the same time so right now we're basically hovering in air there isn't any substance at the moment so we will have a high propensity of going down to the 3843 to 3472 and ideally coming back to earth right 3150 which you know the level that i'll be waiting at but do we see 3150 i think the likelihood would be probably at a very low you know probably 25 percent likely that we'll get there because we are at the 60 out of 70 still and i don't think we're going to crash down all the way to like the you know 20s of the rsi scale i think you know ideally going to the 3475 would be very likely but we have to watch how severe we go down to right so you know if we crash down to here and then we um consolidate a little bit we might cool down and then uh, crash down maybe halfway there like which we've seen in the past and then recuperate we technically would not get back to 3150 if that was the case right but ultimately we still have a relatively large whale well. um, at the same time um, the curvature just recently formed so i think if we're going to form that depending on how much of an outlier is the curvature downward we might see more volatility coming uh, that can drastically, you know, change. But we have to, it's a delicate balance between like, you know, being overly ambitious with respect to the sell-off or being not enough, right? And I think right now we are at an okay level and I think 3,150 is still in the possibility zone. Um, but I think we give this a lower likely. I think 3,475 is, you know, I give that like a 65, 75% chance of likelihood actually going back there because... That's a more substantive level per the technicals, right? That's a more consolidation platform. So with respect to Bitcoin, right now we've won a death cross. We're still at the 50 out of 70. So ideally, we are at basically in mid-air. There isn't anything substantive. We have to go back to 52. We have to go back to 48. Ideally, maybe even 43, but I think that could be a stretch because we're at the 50. You know, if the, we were still at the 68 or 70, you know, yeah, we could, but like, it wouldn't make sense for it to crash down that harshly. But I think ideally coming back to the 47 as we break the 50 would be very likely. Dogecoin down about 5.25%. We see that we sold off even further earlier today. And again, right, Dogecoin, the buy, the dip was basically at the 21 and then the 20 cents respectively. Cardano, we saw that we uh, sold down uh, because of the drag effects that we're having among the whole market. So the altcoins are going to be a little bit more prone to, you know, negativity or positivity, depending on which side the, you know, key coins are going, right? And I think Cardano is a dip, right? We are the 34 out of 70. So at the same time, the sell was too, um, you know, uh, harsh, I would say, that uh, as we crashed below the 187, it was basically oversold at that time at the 182, which was technically the bottom that we have seen today. And immediately people bought back up. And basically right now we try to sustain above the two, like basically around the $2 mark, but we broke it. So ideally the 187 is the dip. But if you're buying some, buying some risk right now, that's not a bad idea because we're relatively oversold right now. But we have to watch the MACD to see how it's curving. So with respect to Solano right now, we are about to form a death cross. So we have that inflated balloon whale. 
Uh, with the 60 out of 70, so I think ideally selling back down to the 134. But I think we might test a little bit at 156, 134, 113 would be more logical. XRP down about 1% right now. We're basically testing the $1 mark right now. As we break it, which we did, we basically got bought up by all the public investors um, and immediately got sold down to the 93 cents up and then come back to $1. Uh, there isn't, there's a lack of substance level with respect to the, the current setup right now. Uh, we are the 30 out of 70. So thir the 93 cents was the dip technically. But if you want to incur some risk right now, it's not the, not the worst level. I think it's okay. You know, in terms of risk versus reward ratio perspective, polka dots right now uh, form a death cross, so not a good sign. We have the fifty three out of seventy, so ideally buying at somewhere around like the thirty one to twenty five would be much more logical. Algorands right now we are um, forming a well back. We are the fifty one, so we technically have some more room to go down to again, right? Ideally one sixty to one fifty. Five would be a better level to dollar cost average at. Shiba Inu is um, we are up sixty percent um, and very abnormal behavior right now. Again, whales are pumping this stuff right now. Um, so as you see a lot of greed going on, whatever goes really really fast comes down just as fast. So definitely, you know, I if you want to risk your money, just have that preparation that you might lose it, right? But um, the momentum is there, right? Um, and this is not a technical analysis anymore. This is just well manipulations. This is completely taking away everything that we've studied for. This is not something we can predict uh, because if someone has a lot of money and they emotionally want to pump something, um, there is this. This is you know not something that in a macro market perspective can you know, an analyst can detect, right? And I'm just being honest with you. So there's a lot, of, you know, unknown uh, factors and abnormality that's going on right now. Outlier is definitely there. Um, just ask yourself, are you okay risking that, let's say a couple hundred dollars or $1,000, right? Um, if you are, then you should go ahead and, and test your luck, right? But again, um, I don't really gamble. And if you buy now, this would be gambling, technically. Um, so definitely be careful. Um, but yeah, but the momentum is there. We have not formed like an apex yet. So technically, we could still run up to even to like maybe the hundreds, if you may, uh, per the technicals, right? 81 was basically um, a star. RSI scale went up to 92, right? And typically, when we hit 92 is when we reverse back down. And I think that's the reason why we sold back down from the 81s, right? And now we're kind of hovering, trying to go back up. And as we do that, you're going to see that the RSI is going to go back up to 90 again. As we go to 91, 92, you know, which is basically, you know, keep going up. You're going to see more sell-off coming. Uh, but this is something that, you know, when everybody's being greedy, definitely run away. When everybody's being fearful, definitely want to incur risk. The risk is at all time astronomically high right now so remind yourself okay um and uh use logic and not emotions when you're investing right so with respect to risk management level um i think with respect to the more regular coins if you may shiba inu is definitely a different animal at the moment um those are obviously more um approachable in terms of the risk management level right now for obvious reasons we're selling off right so the risk is decreasing when we're selling down the price level shiba inu is at the complete opposite side of the spectrum we are our risk has technically increased by you know basically 60 percent today right so when that happens ask yourself do you want to incur 60 percent more risk or should you be buying at other coins that are more promising with 11% lower risk, if you may, right? So hopefully this is helpful. Really appreciate it for dropping by again. Um, I have other meetings coming up and uh, had a rough day today as well. But really appreciate you for dropping by and give me a shout if you have any questions and stay tuned for the call. Take care.